Well, hi ho everybody. Welcome to the Ivory Tower, week two of the PEI provincial election, and it's sort of settled into a predictable routine. Uh, the Liberals are um, playing it safe, the Tories are playing catch-up, uh, the NDP, Greens, and Island Party just want to be invited to the party, and that brings us to the issue of the week, and that is the CBC debate. Now, I'm of two minds here I, about excluding the NDP, Greens, and Island Party from the debate. From a viewer's perspective, adding three parties uh, really that have zero chance of winning a seat does not does not make for engaged viewing. That came across loud and clear to anyone who heard the uh, radio debate on on uh, CBC. The reality is, only two parties have a valid shot at winning a seat on Prince Edward Island, and that is why our system is broken. The Liberals and Tories are so entrenched that it's incredibly difficult for any other party to move forward. But it's not impossible, and it's about time parties like the NDP stopped whining and started doing the things necessary to win. And if they can't or won't do it, why should we give them equal opportunity? Now you can argue, and it's a valid argument, uh, that any discussion we have during this election about pesticides uh, and the environment is a direct result of Sharon Labchuk and the Green Party. And that's probably a true statement. The traditional parties go out of their way to ignore uh, agricultural issues if they risk offending farmers. And now the Island Party, they just want to be invited to the table. Uh, it's their first time around. They have no track record. Uh, so the reality is we probably need both in Prince Edward Island. We need a debate with all five because they are registered parties that will put forward a slate of candidates, uh, perhaps not in every seat, but most, uh, and they do have uh, differ different perspectives on many different issues. But this election uh, has a lot riding on it. And if it requires a debate between Olive Crane and Robert Giz to ensure a valid, credible opposition, then I'm in favor of that as well. I'm Paul McNeil. Till next time.